All right, in this video, we're going to cover media sharing. So this number 10 media sharing, you can see we have some media that we can host. We got some um, images. We have an MP4 file. We have an MP3 file. So we're going to host some audio and video. And uh, if we look at the readme here, um, at the bottom, it's kind of a crazy looking, it's responsive. Uh, so dealing with video in particular response with the responsiveness is is a challenge um, but we're going to try to get it so that you know we can display it here and then responsively it will fit and we've got kind of a we're going to use a background image here so we haven't done that you set that up in CSS rather than HTML and we've got some styling that we can do on our controls we you can't see that in this picture but we're going to add a favicon so this is going to be like the little image that you see next to the title in the browser tab so just looking at this we oh let's see let's fix that uh parallax effect you know parallax effects but just parallax effect so we're going to um this parallax effect just is a, where we place an image in the background and then when we scroll the image stays fixed and it gives a certain look and so you'll see that we will use the favicon um, and then we'll look at sharing audio and video so there are video and audio tags um, and so if you're hosting your own video you, you would use a video tag if you're hosting audio you'd use an audio tag if you're using someone else's uh, so something like YouTube you would use an iframe but you would use an audio tag hosting someone else's audio so we'll see examples of that and then um, embedding so embedding audio is really just using the audio tag whereas embedding video I, you're going to use the iframe and you've probably used that before because that's what you if you go to share on YouTube that's what you get from them is an iframe so I uh, just mentioned here, I'm not going to show you anything about this, but the image tag contains source set and sizes attributes. And this allows you to specify different size images um, for different screen widths. So you don't have to deal with that in CSS, which would be a little tricky. They give you a way to do that in um, with using HTML um, and you know the, before we had that we would just to, to have different size images for different screen sizes we could do media queries and use a background image but it makes more sense now to have it in HTML um, so I hope you can read about that there and then options so there's a lot of options as far as looping autoplay not a good idea to use autoplay in your web page nobody really likes it when you immediately we load a page and you immediately get something sound that you know you may not, might not be expecting. So, um, but it's good to kind of look at those and you can just Google these tags and just read about the different options. And then responsive video, just noting that it is kind of tricky and you might want to check out this article on that because you don't want to skew your videos and Google takes quite a bit of care in giving you a uh, dimensions that won't skew but then how do you take those fixed dimensions and make them get smaller you know without using percent so there's a way to do that and you can read about that here so we're just going to be using a flex box and not really modifying the sizes too much so to get going we're going to be doing some HTML where we, we add these tags and then some CSS to get the styling and then we'll take a look in the end how how this all looks all right so if we look at the index html that we've been given uh, and let's just see what it looks like without doing anything so we have the, we're going to have the star trek bridge theme the star trek theme the star trek bridge and then there's some things in there that haven't been coded yet and then we have our credits so we're going to have a background image from the hubble images and we're giving credit to Star Trek Audio because they allow you to download and host your own. Um, and I did not download and host any any uh, a video because they're big and it can be, um, you know, it just the idea of checking this really large file in doesn't seem right. And um, for to a versioning control system, usually you you maintain a server for all at all these kind of assets. So we're we'll just be. Uh, embedding video in here but anyway you can see that we've got 
some classes set up for embedded audio and embedded two embedded audios which is which is our audio tag a hosted video which will be our video tag and then embedded videos which will be the iframe tag and then we have our footer with the credits so let's take a look at what we're going to need to add let's see we'll put this over to the right and we'll just start in on the HTML. So first of all, for the audio controls, for number one here, we're going to just grab this and let's take a look at what we're providing in here. So we have this article with a paragraph Star Trek theme. And what we could see is we are, we have, a, there's a theme out there that is it's being hosted on the web so we're pulling it from Trek Core. Um, we have this notice like if, if you for some reason your browser was not allowed to, to or did wasn't was using was hadn't implemented this audio tag your user would see this message your browser does not support it but otherwise it's just going to allow us to to host that and if we look at this page now let's see you can see the default it gives you some audio and you, know, you can play that um, so that is how you can host your your audio then um, and that is stylable we'll do a little bit of styling and then um, for the second one, we are going to also do audio, and our source is local. So if you see this source media, it's over here. We have some, we have this MP3, and this is the the bridge from season three. So you can put that up there. Let's format that. Yes, and that gives us our second. So they look the same. One is coming from our local server and the other one is coming from the internet. And then so audio doesn't audio same same tag for whether you're hosting or sort of embedding. Then um, for the first video uh, we're going to be something that use something that is hosted locally. Oh, I do have a little tiny local video here so what do I have this mp4 a time-lapse video of the night sky uh, so someone shared that and said that it was okay to to use that and so let's take a look at this tag so we'll put this in the number three position and notice we are providing a, a width and height and these are kind of standard dimensions for videos and they are fixed so that kind of that could kind of be a problem we will learn down the road a little more about getting using um, keeping the, the the dimensions the same to avoid skewing but making them percentages but in this case we're just going to use these fixed dimensions and then um, for the second video item here, we will use uh, the iframe. And this is what you can get just by clicking on the share link on YouTube. It'll give you an iframe. And an iframe really is a tag, it's been around for a while, that just provides a little window into something that's going on on somebody else's site. So you're not hosting this, they're, they're hosting it, they're getting credit for hosting it. Um, if you want to think of it that way and um, we have not we have a couple of let's take a look at this a couple of options here we have the allow accelerometer autoplay encrypted media gyroscope picture in a picture so those are things that that um, that are being allowed in the iframe we have a zero border and we have allow full screen so we have a couple of things going on there now in this video you should you can see we here we we added a controls so that's optional there are other optional like you can add download there's a lot of different things you can do but you really got to be careful when getting media off the internet and hosting it yourself because it's easy to break um, licensing laws and 
copyright laws and you really want to be respectful of that so um, often it's better to just embed and not really think about that this one I happen to have got it from a free site um, but um, yeah be very careful about that better better to just use an iframe than to download and use somebody else's stuff hosted as if it were your own and even giving them credit if you're hosting it you still can you know have a problem there so here's another iframe and this one again is from YouTube same kind of thing where we're just um, all we're doing is you know providing an iframe so that they can host it um, so what do we got now if we look at this we've got so you know YouTube provides this image for you and you can actually when you're hosting it yourself you can overwrite that image so that's one of the options you might want to look at that um, but now you have this ability to um, play videos on your site and this one I'm hosting here and you know these are coming from so those are some different ways that we can host. Um, finally, the last thing that we want to do is provide at what's been known as a favicon, though it's though it's changed and how you how it's dealt with on the internet. It's really pretty simple now. We just put this in the header. It's a link tag, kind of like our our uh, style sheet. We have a href to an image, and this image is just I just wrote this in a ed, in a you know editor and cut out a little chunk and saved it as a PNG and it's not even really very good because usually you want to have these more square so typically they look better if you have them squared off there are actually there's a lot you can do if you want to look into it you can go out and Google um, let me close this for now you can go out and Google uh, Favicon generator so and you'll find there's there's a whole world behind this because you want to get different size favicons for different platforms and they can end up being buttons that show up you know depending on how they're tagged for um, different you know different places on your phone they can show up you know as icons for selecting like looking like apps um, so you can just create one from a from an image that you upload and you'll get a whole slew and I'm not going to do that here but I leave that up to you if you're interested in pursuing that um, so let's see how this looks if well, let's add this um, favicon here so I'm just gonna take this link and put it underneath our inside of our head tag and so now if we open up this live server, we see this little image up here next to the tab. So that's the favicon. All right, so that kind of covers the HTML. Let's look into doing some styling.